All right, I'm at Turning Point Boat Works with uh, Joey Schott. Apparently, uh, we both wore the same hat today. We did. Exactly. 238 hours, day 32. But Joey, the past almost 40 hours has just been on this little piece. Why? Because we screwed up. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, explain that. Uh, well, what, what, yeah. yeah, so the idea was is to take all of these lines and carry them up into what this is going to be, the combing rim. So once we got those on, we put the combing rim on, we found out that because they weren't angled, they weren't matching up. So it was, some of them were off by an eighth of an inch. And look, we could have, I, I, wouldn't you say that 90% of the people, maybe eight, would have just left it and said enough is enough and gone on with that? Or because a lot of times you see, you see wooden strip kayaks, you'll see blemishes. You'll see where that maybe mm -hmm. they yeah. should have gone back. Yeah, yeah. Right? And we don't, you know, we talked museum quality, Nick Shotta uh, boats. We, we wanted this thing to be a museum quality boat. Yeah. And that wouldn't have gotten us there. No, it wouldn't have. And um, it would be something you'd stare at for the rest of the time that you own the boat and you would be unhappy with it. So why do it? And um, Joey shot kind of like myself, is a perfectionist. That's why all the other boats you see around here, when they leave here a lot of times, you know, a lot of these uh, fiberglass boats, these mm -hmm. um, carbon fiber boats, folks, I'm not kidding. They look better than brand new boats. It's always been the goal. Which is crazy. You you guys, because when people are mass manufacturing kayaks, mm -hmm. things go awry. But then you yeah. come to a guy that's going to get in there with a magnifying glass and you'll see you'll see the difference. So, all right, that's why it's taking us so long. See you next time when we um, get to day 33. Do some more of this? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finish, Finish this up. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.